One day, a park ranger joined the crowd that had gathered to watch a bear. One woman and her little boy stood out in the crowd. She was smearing something all over the boy's face. The ranger asked the woman what she was doing. She answered, putting honey on him, of course. Stunned, he asked the obvious question, why? She answered matter-of-factly, I want to take a picture of the bear looking it off his face. The rival of the fittest, better known as natural selection, is a basic tenet of modern biology. Any individual organism which succeeds in reproducing itself will contribute to the survival of the species, though sometimes the sole purpose is to serve as a bad example to others. These individuals will unlikely ever be recipients of the Nobel Prize, but they can be honored with their very own Darwin Award. A Darwin Award is an honor named after evolutionary theorist Charles Darwin. Awards are given for people who do a service to humanity by removing themselves from the gene pool. According to Wendy Norcutt, author of Darwin Award books, the awards honor people who ensure the long-term survival of the human race by removing themselves from the gene pool in a sublimely idiotic fashion. All races, cultures, and socioeconomic groups are eligible to compete. Contenders are evaluated using the following criteria. The candidate must remove himself from the gene pool. The Darwin Awards celebrate the self-removal of incompetent genetic material from humanity. The potential winner must render himself deceased or incapable of reproducing. The man who tried to make a horse do something she didn't want to do and was bitten in the process qualifies. The candidate must exhibit an astounded misapplication of judgment. The award is intended to be funny. We aren't talking about common stupidities such as smoking in bed. We're talking as using live ammunition as a fuse. The candidate must be the cause of his own demise. The candidate's own gross ineptitude must be the cause of the incident. A hapless bystander killed with a rock dropped from a great height is a terrible accident. If a do-it-yourselfer is killed by an anvil he raked to kill that annoying chipmunk in his backyard, that's comedy. The candidate must be capable of sound judgment. Humans are generally capable of sound judgment. Nominees must be 16 years or older and free of mental defect. That means no children, Alzheimer's disease sufferers, or Down syndrome patients. Remembering to measure the length of the bungee cords and having the foresight to anchor the bitter end, but not accounting for the stretch length being greater than the distance between the bridge and the ground, that qualifies you. The event must be verified. The story must be documented by a reliable source, such as a newspaper article or responsible eyewitness. No Photoshop or chain emails, please. If a story is found to be untrue, it is disqualified, but particularly amusing ones are placed in the urban legend section. The jet-assisted impala may have been debunked, but the need for speed and poor judgment is forever with us. The Darwin Award books by Wendy Norcutt are cautionary tales of misadventure assembled and intended to be viewed as a comic safety manual, not a how-to guide. Please do not try these at home. These stories are not meant to be read all at once, but savored and are most appealing when they are consumed a few at a time. When he walks that fine line between horror and humor, so pay attention, stay alive, and celebrate the survival of the fit enough, where the winner is eliminated.